I don't normally do these kind of videos, react videos, but uh, Houdini just released uh, their new trailer and I have to say, man, I don't really have a lot of people who do this stuff, so I, I have to reach out to my community so that we can watch this together. I mean, I'm just amazed. And if you're a Blender user, just stick around uh, just to see uh, the difference between Blender and uh, Houdini and why Houdini is just on top of this game. So let's let's watch their trailer. I'm just going to mute uh, the music because I, I, I think it might be copyrighted. So let's just get in. Right away, you they just shoot you with the things that Blender can would struggle with, uh, like uh, this simulation. I don't even know how to start with it. I think they are using some sort of grain simulation. Uh, that's Velum, and uh, yeah, it's just amazing. They show off stuff that, yeah, like uh, this muscle system. I don't even know where I would use this, uh, but I guess a lot of Hollywood uh, studios do want this level of detail. In uh, more 3D artists would just uh, model and uh, and made the character without any muscle that type of muscle detail uh, but uh, they're giving you that if you want that i think there is an add-on that uh, tries to do this in blender but uh, it doesn't give you that jiggle physics uh, that uh, you, you're seeing in this and uh, yeah it's, their tools are always built to the maximum when you see a tool uh, uh brought to to dini it's basically uh, the the actual thing. I, I want you to take a look at this. You just have someone pounding on these biscuits and uh, or cookies, whatever you want to call them. This it, it, just look at how everything is integrated. Ah, uh, where is that? Okay, yeah. So you have these cookies, and it's so it looks so simple, but really complicated to do. Uh, I, I don't think in Blair you can. There's no way, even with. You think of any add-on you want to use, it won't be able to get this level of detail. Uh, and uh, they're mis mixing fluids with with rigid bodies, and uh, actually it looks like, I don't know if it's all in a single thing, because that would really be impressive. If uh, they're breaking down, actually that's what is happening, it's breaking it down into small chunks, and uh, it's, it's just impressive, it's just impressive yeah and uh, you just have a lot of layers of uh, simulations going on here and uh, and surprisingly they, they make setting this up really easy so you're not having to build uh, because Blender can also might attempt to do things like this but the effort you have to put in to achieve that is just too much uh, it's like you're building an entirely new uh, product uh, to to get something like that yeah this is their new sim simulation th system it's not entirely new it was released i think in uh, the the last version of uh, the mpm where you can do a global simulation with everything uh, debris dust everything as a single thing and i think it's what they're using here as well uh, to destroy this building as well so you don't have to fract to pre-fracture the objects uh like we usually do in blender i uh, usually use the cell fracture to first fracture something and then uh break it apart here uh with uh, this mpm solver uh, you it, it doesn't need to do that it's it uses uh, uh points and uh, where there are uh, stresses or uh, cracks it, it just fra fractures naturally and i think it's what they are using to simulate the train yeah yeah i think it's what they are using here it does metal deformation particle simulation it's just a whole integrated system uh yeah so it just Everything just simply works, and uh, this is uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh? Look at that. Yeah, I think this is also using. I don't know this. This is pre-fractured because they they showed in the demo it was pre-fractured. Metal deformation, dust, and everything. Uh, here is some height fields. Uh, so this is why I like allow for Dini is that uh, it's it basically does everything. So there is uh, an application called Gear for that does this. Uh, oh, it's called Gaia Gear. I don't know, but uh, I guess if you have this, uh, if you have Houdini, then you don't have to use that. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, a new thing I think called uh, Copernicus. Cops. Yeah, it works like a uh, substance designer. So if you if you have Houdini again, you I guess you wouldn't ha need substance designer because you can do everything it does here. They're basically taking on each application and I, I also saw that they're improving their animation tools so maybe you won't even need uh, 
uh, an external 3D animation tool to, to, to do animation. And I usually, I, I used to think that uh, Houdini doesn't do modeling very well, but after using it for quite some time, I think you can uh, do quite a lot of modeling inside Houdini without going out. And uh, there are also tools that uh, help you make it more, more what, more, more modeling friendly. And this is uh, Gaussian splats, uh, geometry lighting. Uh, this, this is basic stuff. Sometimes it's hard to tell with Houdini if if a feature is new or just an improvement because they have so many features that I, that I never try. Uh, so it's sometimes you see it, I'm thinking it's new when it's just an improvement. Uh, so here is uh, rigging, rigging tools, auto builder, apply pre build, just amazing tools. Uh, it's just, and I. I, I, I I would encourage anyone who uses Blender, even when you don't want to switch to Houdini, to try and uh, take a look at some of these trailers and see uh, how the difference between a professional level uh, program and uh, and other programs. And 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 uh, the thing about Houdini is that uh, even when you compare it to other programs like uh, 3ds Max or Cinema 4D, it it always comes up on top. Anyway, I'm going to link to the trailer in the description if you want to, if you want to check it out for yourself and uh, yeah we, we don't even have to talk about these explosions we know that uh, it's just built for this type of stuff and uh, they also have these uh, recipes basically uh, presets or templates where you instead of starting from scratch you just uh, get a, a recipe of something that is already pre-done and uh, you can uh, change look at that fire man it looks super realistic and uh, i think this is a a meme let me see is this the everything fire is fine meme let me see let me check this see no is this this is looks like the every is fine meme ah huh. <laughs> I, I thought they were going for that <laughs> anyway uh be leaving links in the description if you want to check it out and uh yeah see you in the next one